Hello everybody, it's Kyra from Body Candy. On today's episode of The Tea, we're going to be speaking about why are piercings considered permanent mods? But before we get into that, remember to like, comment and subscribe to Body Candy to make sure you see all of our videos. And let's go! So we all know that tattoos are permanent body modifications, but piercings don't seem to carry the same lifelong connotations. That is actually not a correct view today. We're going to take a moment to discuss why that actually is. So first off we're going to start with scarring. So piercings, whether they are fresh or fully healed, are still considered a wound. Despite knowing this, people are often surprised to discover that when removing a piercing that there is in fact a scar. Any piercing is going to leave a mark behind, no matter how well it healed or no matter how well you cared for it. This is doubly true if your piercing was rejecting when you removed it. That's why it's best to remove a piercing as soon as rejection begins because you will be left with a scar. And the longer you leave it, the worse the scar will be. Scarring can range from barely visible to extremely noticeable, lip, eyebrow and bridge piercings often tend to leave the worst scars. Dermal implants can leave very noticeable scars. Other piercings, often older piercings, may simply just not close, leaving a very visible channel. Either way, when you retire your piercing, it will leave some sort of mark behind. So, things to consider. We need to take a more long-term view when it comes to considering a new piercing. What might lie ahead of us? Do we want to have that piercing looking for a certain job? Do we want that piercing in our wedding photos? Are we comfortable with the idea of being a pierced senior citizen? We should also consider all of this when we consider stretching. How comfortable are we going to be with stretch lobes in 10 years? If they don't return to a smaller gauge, are we willing and able to have our lobes reconstructed by a surgeon? None of this is meant to discourage people from getting piercings or stretching the piercings. It's definitely something to keep in mind when we make that big decision. So obviously do your homework, Research the piercings that you want and find resources that include what they look like when the jewellery is removed. Find an experienced and trustworthy piercer who has done that piercing many, many times. You don't want to be a guinea pig. Try to get proper jewellery for that piercing and make sure it's made of high quality materials. Implant grade titanium is perfectly fine. If you do your research and discover that you may not be able to deal with the long term ramifications of that piercing, that's okay too. Another option though, fake and clip on jewellery. People like to smack talk clip on or fake jewellery, right? They act as if being stabbed with a needle is some kind of badge of honour or you have to earn the right to wear certain jewellery. But clip-on piercing like belly rings, septum rings, perfectly acceptable at the end of the day. It's your body. You made the choice that is right for you and you're being responsible enough to say no is a badge of honour all on its own. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please just leave a comment below, give us a like, give us a share and remember to subscribe to Body Candy so you will see all of these videos. I will see you on the next one.